Welcome back, Anthra and Archana from Body by Organics. I cannot wait to hear what you two have been up to since we last spoke in early December. When we last left you, you developed approximately at the time five products and you had created a website, but it wasn't yet launched. It was close to launch at that time. And you also had mentioned that you were having some issues with the craft paper packaging and that you were, it was taking a little bit longer than you thought. So we want to hear a little bit about that. And you were hoping to launch some products, I guess, by Valentine's Day. And so today's ep episode is going to be just follow up on a few of those, those points from the end of the first episode, and then talk a little bit about now going forward, what, what wins you've had, what stumbles you've had, what blocks you've had, and, um, and what your, you know, kind of what your outlook is now for the next three months. So welcome back to the Shot Caller podcast. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. You're very welcome. So um, maybe I'll start with the fact that we haven't launched yet, <laughs> which um, is, uh, is probably where we really want to be, but we've had a lot of progress. Um, I think one of our biggest progresses has been that our jars and our boxes um, to put the jars in have arrived. So I can show you some of them. Yes. So this is some of this for the hair serum. And we've got the 15 ml um, for the 24 karat gold serum, the bio oil. I got a lot of questions about the 24 karat gold one later. <laughs> later. I want to know. <laughs> we've got our jars. Yeah. Um, so we were debating actually. Uh, between these two jars according to what um, the Soil Association will approve. So we oh. really like this one, but yeah. we're not 100% sure they'll approve it. Uh, whereas this one is uh, wooden bamboo, so they would approve that. But so um, what's that mean, the Soil Association? They have to approve your jar? They have to approve from the manufacturing process right to every single container that you use, to every box that you use, to every label that you use. Um, so it's not just the product, it's from beginning to end. And they came to see the manufacturing site as well to actually um, evaluate whether we can manufacture there. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That's, um, that's very, I mean, in one way, I'm very impressed as a consumer that, yeah. that it's that thought out. And you yeah. guys, as, as business owners, are probably like, ah, <laughs> you know, it I can didn't be know daunting. I had to do that. <laughs> yeah it, it it was i think initially we were going with, to go with a factory to manufacture our products yeah and then they said that it has to be um cosmos approved organically approved that you can only use organic products um where they're manufacturing so wow. um Antra will tell you that we um had to move our manufacturing site to her place actually yes okay so yeah, it has been moved to my place now, and we would be managed. We we uh, there was an inspector who came and did a survey on this site, and we uh, most likely that that got approved. Um, we still have to get the results and stuff. So yeah, so it was. It's a whole supply chain they look after. They just don't get into. They don't certify just the finished product. It's the supply whole supply chain. They, I mean, that is, that is great. I mean, really, I didn't know how detailed that was at all. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's UK regulations or is that also EU regulations? It's UK and EU regulations. Both. Okay. It's both. 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 Okay. So because Soil Association does, wow. I mean, it's one umbrella is the Cosmos. Okay. So the Cosmos has U, um, EcoCert, which is for you, e Europe majorly and one is the soil association which is for uk and you have another one is the usda usda which is for us right so that falls under those one umbrella oh wow so thing. you could you could in theory export your products to the us uh eventually if, eventually eventually okay. if we yeah. if you wanted to yeah if you okay. wanted to yeah if you wanted to okay wow that's great but again this is why we're doing this little series is because we're trying to both add value to those listening who might want to launch a business and maybe obviously an organic or organic, organic business and and to really have a look inside we also want to help you guys get exposure and get your 
get the word out there. And we want women specifically, but of course, anybody out there to support small businesses, support organic, support, um, yeah, your, you know, your, your, your hard work. So that's really interesting. Yeah. I didn't okay. realize it was so cradle to grave kind of, kind of a, a situation. Because one of the things we hear about a lot lately is greenwashing. Have you, have you, are you guys familiar with the term? You kind of, you have a lot of companies that might say they're doing something green and they make a advertisement. Oh, here's our green new t-shirt, but it's not necessarily that green, right? Um, Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe the cotton was sourced organically, but everything else in the process was not like the chemicals used, you know? And so, so there's a lot of um, pushback on uh, this topic of greenwashing and, and, consumers do need help to Mm -hmm. really understand what the products are that they're buying. And if there's this regulatory thoroughness, Mm -hmm. I think that's good. I think that's great. So, um, okay. So, uh, how, how about on the website? how did you guys get on there? So we're, um, updated most of it. We've changed a lot of the words. Yeah. Just waiting for the photographs now because we need the finished products. Like I showed you earlier, we've got, we've got the, where the jars will go into. Uh, okay, uh, so that's the outside packaging, the black. Yeah. So yeah. if that's, that will just go in there and it fits perfectly well. So that's okay. come along. Cool. But obviously we need, we need the labeling and the labeling yes. can only be produced um, once we get all the certification. So once we get all the certification, which is, we've got the vegan one, which was a massive achievement. Yes, so, hooray. well done. I saw that, I saw yeah. that on LinkedIn, yeah. Yeah, so really happy that we've got one of them. I think uh, we will get the other two in the next sort of few days. Okay. Um, but uh, once we get that, the labels are all ready to be printed. Yes. So just need to have the, you know, the original certification on it. You can't say it's been approved or it's, you know, made it through all these checks and balances unless it has been, right? So I understand that. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have, you have to wait on that. Um, yeah. That's, that's uh, yeah, I guess, I guess all of these things are a learning process for you, right? Yeah. I mean, we've, um, like you were talking about greenwashing, we've also got um, these bamboo, oops, these bamboo um, bowls where you can mix the scrubs and it's all completely organic. Yeah. Um, and uh, we've done all the research on it. And Antra has got a fantastic thing to show you as well, where we oh. actually got it from. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, uh, you got it from where? Sorry, I missed that. From India. Oh, from India. Okay. There was a big, so yeah. what we have thought is instead of um, having a, or instead of so saying normal manufactured um, pouches, why don't we use some recycled fabrics, you know, which people actually throw it away. They just, you know, instead of just throwing it away, why not using it and make some pouches? Obviously that will come in different colors, different designs and stuff, but then it um, it's the pouches like this. They are all from recyclable fabrics. Fantastic. And uh, it's all cotton. So yes, so it's environmental, environment friendly. And so, yeah, these, these kind of pouches. So, so the, the, the bowl, the bowl uh, that you mix the, will go in those pouches. Yes, the bowl, the muslin cloth. So we also have muslin, we also have so some muslin cloths. So which is going to be for sure. wiping wiping your face and stuff those these are the accessories so which is going to go into these pouches and then we can ship it to people uh, to our consumers fantastic can i ask you guys a quick question about muslin face cloths yeah i like most other women out there will buy these things because they they are suggested by the product you know isn't it a, a companion or uh, for, you know, they're sitting there on, on the aisle in boots and, you know, you know, why is muslin better to, to clean your face with versus let's just say any old uh, washcloth. Can you tell me why muslin so, like why that's used? Why is that, why is that a thing? Because firstly, muslin is a very soft cloth. So you can't, um, your skin on, on your face is very soft. Yeah. So you cannot just use any any washcloths because okay. a lot of washcloths are, you know, it depends on 
what kind of count your cloth is you know yes. the yarn count it depends it's probably on... ikea count is that a is that a thing <laughs> Uh, no, it has to be either 100 count or 84 just, count. So it's, it's a kind of a yarn count, which I'm, would I'm make kidding. it more I'm smooth. <laughs> so it's better. So, it's better for the skin. It's better because it's softer. So when you when you wash your, when you clean your skin, it, it gives a very smooth, it doesn't harm you, harm your skin, firstly. It doesn't give you scratches. So when you put uh, scrubs, for example, on your, uh, on your skin, you can just wipe it, just wash, uh, just uh, put a liquid, uh, dip it on a lukewarm water, your muscle yeah. cloth, and just rub, uh, wipe it. And it is going to give you a very smooth effect on your skin. It's yeah. not going to scratch your skin. It is, it's good for your skin. Yeah. So any cotton or muslin, muslin is basically a thinner version of cotton, okay. so which is much more transparent and the count, yarn count is much more softer, finer. Okay. So and how often should one uh, replace a muslin cloth? Because um, uh, I've got one I've had for years. I, I really don't yes. know. Um, you don't have to really replace it until and unless you're t it's stone or you can see it's just okay you can't use it it's very yeah. hard okay you don't have to it's something you can it's like uh, it's i can like just any, keep re reusing yeah, it till it yeah, falls apart yeah. basically absolutely absolutely okay. or it it becomes so hard that you can't use it anymore yeah but it okay. doesn't most the cotton doesn't get hard as much yeah. so okay okay Okay, and the, I guess the other thing that's quite cool is that you're providing some business and some jobs for Indian art artisans, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. That's awesome, that's fantastic. So, so you're kind of um, thinking about the entire cycle. So that's really cool. Yes. Good, okay. Especially so websites, the, oh, sorry. Spe especially during the pandemic times when oh. they just, they are very miserable in India. Most of oh. the really, um, difficult for them. The garment for industry, livelihood. especially, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, gosh. fashion industry. Yeah, uh, it's heartbreaking. And so, well, since you bring up the pandemic, where what has has that caused you any further pain uh, since we last spoke? Are there things that got caught up because of that? A little. I think um, everyone's working a bit slower because everyone's working from home, mm -hmm. um, including us. So it's really hard to do the things that you would normally do we have been able to give samples to friends and family through the post okay um but i think if you were if you were not in the pandemic you could have shows or you could give them uh, give a lot of sam a lot more samples away but one of the good good things is antra and i have made another uh, i've started uh, producing another foot cream and we were able to talk to podiatrist and he's actually trying it out and giving us some feedback before we actually get it approved. So I think we've had time to think about other things because of the pandemic, but at the same time, the disadvantage is we can't meet people face yeah. to face. And I think in skincare, it's really important to be able to show them the product and you know they can use it a bit more. Um, it's a big trust factor, right? On these things. Especially sure. on a startup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you're, but you're, sounds like you're being creative and you're, you're, you know, you're navigating your way through. And mm. I think you, as humans, you always find a, a way through, right? Any challenge and you find an answer to it. And I think we're very yeah. good at sort of complementing what each other in what we do and getting it out there to, to whatever we can. Good. So, okay. So we've got, we've, we've, so you've got, you've gone from five products to, about 10? Oh, uh, it's 10, ten yeah. products, yeah. Okay, so you have and been very busy on the product side. Yeah. Yeah, and the accessories, right? Like the yeah. bowl, which is, I love that. And so, okay, so tell us, tell, just remind everybody what your first five products were and then tell us what you've added to. Um, I think our original ones were the 24 karat gold serum, the glow oil, the oatmeal scrub, the sugar scrub, uh, sugar polish, and uh, Anthra, remind me. Um, the moisturizing cream, the, the moisturizing cream. Uh, yeah. Which one was the acne one? Which one? The bio. It oil. was yeah. The oil, the bio oil is okay. Yeah. And then now we've got um well we've got two that are in formulation, which is the twenty four karat gold cream, which is a night cream. Okay. Uh, which actually uh, a few people have tried and it's actually amazing 
for um, making a glow um, at night and you can leave it overnight, moisturizes your skin and you wake up looking absolutely as you would want to. I need to Naturally that. confident. Send me some. <laughs> Um, we and the foot, uh, the foot <laughs> cream as well but we've also got the hair serum and we're experimenting on um an um an eye the serum eye. or dark eyes <gasps> and uh, we get for that one. around there yeah oh, it, it's actually amazing that one but ladies listen to me okay i know you you've got the teen market you're working on the teen market which is fantastic but can you give some love to the people in their late 40s and they're heading into their 50s who, because Mother Nature being what it is, we don't uh, get to sleep through the night so easily anymore as much as we want to. And I regularly wake up at three or four in the morning and I can't go back to sleep for an hour, an hour and a half. And, you know, boom, <laughs> the, under eye circles. Now, I am not the only woman experiencing this. And that is a huge market for you. So, Anta, get to work on. I would. <laughs> her, that, that all of the women in my age can get rid of their under eye circles. Please. Yeah. <laughs> is that what this amazing. is? Amazing. She sounds like it. Yeah, she's really good. And she actually knows what to, what people need and what to put in the product. So she's, she's excellent at that. Uh, so, so tell me about this eye cream. Mm -hmm. I just want to hear about it. So give, give a little commercial and tell me. Andra. Okay. Um, okay. I, it is, it is for the dark circles. Also it yeah. is for the puffiness. So if you okay. normally, it's also for the puffiness. So the, the ingredients, what we have used uh, is basically will eradicate that but obviously you won't see the changes overnight because no. a lot of people have you know with organic things what happens is when people promises that okay you put something and it just takes away your dark circles or puffiness straight away no it doesn't no organic or any cosmetic cosmetic brand or uh, cosmetic grade uh, products will not eradicate anything at, in one night you have to use it regularly to get that, uh, you know, your dark circles or puffiness or whatever, whatever skin yeah. issues you have regularly, you have to use it regularly to get that uh, eradicated. So and I suppose the other thing that's important to say here is diet has a huge amount to do with our skin, right? Um, yes. How much water we're drinking. That's something that yes, I, of course, I go up and diet. down. Absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm your diet. Not, so I yep. need to drink more water. I know that I do need to do that. So that's, <laughs> yes. It's, we can't water. just look to bottles and creams to fix all of what's going on inside, right? So. Yes, yes. So we have to kind of have a good and healthy diet. Greens and these obviously helps you anyways to have a good skin. Yeah. Uh, but yes, your any any product after that you use, uh, especially, um, that will make it much more smoother and easier to you know it will enhance your skin so wonderful well, i can't wait i can't wait to try yeah. to try it out okay so you were hoping to launch by valentine's day and these you know all these very normal startup things are are delaying but often blessings coming come out of that as you said, you were able to be a bit more thoughtful, thoughtful on certain topics, come up with now a foot cream, and perhaps there's some other blessings around that. I do understand, and I think most anybody that's been around startups understands that we're often a lot more optimistic about these yeah. types of things than, than we, we, I don't know if you could say that we should be. I think it's good to be optimistic. It's good to have a, a, a target but to also not beat yourself up when things slip because they just, they just do. And at the end of the day, Valentine's Day was just a nice little point, right? It's, it's not the end of the world that it's a month or two months out, out I, I suppose. What's your best guess now on launch kind of? I would say April. April, um, okay. Because we're all ready with, the only thing left is the two certifications that we need. Yes. And uh, that's it. Everything else yeah. is ready. The raw materials are here. The jars are here. Okay. The boxes are here. Oh, fantastic. So okay. We, so we are ready to manufacture, but we can't, yeah. we can't get the labels till we get the certification. Yeah. Um, so I, 
you know, that's the only thing we're waiting for. And I think we're also very, very excited to sort of show everyone what we're, what the Body by Organic is made of and how amazing all our products are going to be. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, the con- only the consumer can tell us at the end of the day. So yeah. that, that, that's where we are. I think with Unthrang myself, we do go through ups and downs. And, yeah. you know, sometimes it's heartbreaking when you're thinking, oh, my God, I just want to sell. Uh, but we're quite positive people. And, you know, you make a, you make good out of every bad situation. And I think that's what we've done. So that's all we can do at the moment. Yeah. And you're nearly there. And in the scheme of it all, let's say three years down the road, it won't matter that you launched in April versus February. No. You know, it, it's, it's, not, it's not going. The bigger thing is that you, is the care you're putting into the product development, yeah. right? I mean, honestly, that is, if you make consumers happy with the product that you've got and you are responsible, sustainably speaking, those, those are the most yeah. important things. That's what will bring customers back to you over and over and over again. Correct. And yes. I think it's also given us time to get a pricing strategy because ah. we didn't have one the last time. Okay. So um, it's really made us think as to where the product should stand, how much it should cost to a business and to a retail, like to a retailer. Because at the end of the day, Body by Organic is manufacturing, is the wholesaler and the retailer. So we're doing the whole, the whole cycle as such. So I am... Um, it's given us time to research and to know what people are ready to pay for yeah. something that is over 95% organic compared to just saying organic. Yes. To get the certification, you have to be over 95% organic. Yes. So Gosh. I think the world is moving more to veganism, to organic, to genderless. So I think those are the main things we're focusing on um, so we can get a product that's good for all. I I did an interview. I don't know if I mentioned this in our last podcast. I did an interview with um, someone from the UK. Uh, Their name now is Seven. They they go by they. uh, And the story was really a human story on this person was born transgender in the UK. And uh, uh, the pair with mostly presenting female but having um, male um, parts inside. And operations were done secretly without even the parents knowing what was going on. Nobody told them it was awful and all this was legal at the time. Anyway, this person uh, went on to actually have quite a successful career with um, TV production and movie production in, in the UK, and but also developed an addiction problem and just went through all the well, the highs and lows of just not being able to identify with who they are and um, and also coming to realize in, in their early 20s, all of this information. And you can imagine the, the, the competing hormones and all this sort of thing. Anyway, um, so Seven is, is, it's a fascinating story anyway, just a human story and it's got a very strong British uh, background, but they're now in LA becoming a uh, movie producer and about to produce with Stephen Fry as the as the um as the main producer and um Emma Thompson are supporting this 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 um short film it's going to be called Pony Boy and actually they did a short now they're going to do a feature film I hope that's right anyway long story short I know you guys are wondering where, where am I go where am I going with all of this okay where I'm going is that Seven is a really big proponent for genderless uh, in advertising, in clothing, in cosmetics. And so if you want, it's, I could make an introduction to you guys because they are very passionate about when, when businesses get it right and really open up the doors to be inclusive as, as a brand and, and make everybody feel welcome. And so they're the kind of person that if you do it wrong, they're going to call you out on it. You just don't want to be on the bad side of that. But if you do it right, they're also going to just sing your praises. And so, uh, I could, I could just see that, that, um, Seven would like what you guys are doing and, and would possibly be somebody who could be a proponent for you guys uh, in, in, in a, the wider LGBT community yeah. and, and Hollywood creative community, which those, those, those kind of communities are, are open to these, yeah. you know, the, 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 the kind of the next generation of uh, products that are inclusive, I guess. So 
That was a big segue. So I just had to give you a little bit of the background. Um, but no, it could just be somebody. Right. No, yeah, I think <laughs> somebody. you're completely right about that. That like, right. I think the way the world is moving, I don't think we should judge who whoever is. It's what they want to be. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. that's the way yeah. that we, we need to live. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that reaching out and, and expressing yourself from a business and marketing perspective as genderless, uh, it's just, I just think it's great because especially if we talked before with, for boys and teens having problems with their skin, you know, they, they're just as knocked off, off by this, um, confidence wise as girl, as girls are, but the aisles in all of the stores are just chock full of products geared towards women, right? Yeah not for not for for boys and uh and you guys are skipping all of that you're not saying this is for boys it's for girls it's for it's for everybody everyone so, so that's so I, I think that that's just worthwhile repeating from our first chat and and hearing again that you're you're keep you're carrying that thread through the through this through the story um okay how are you guys on the budget we have you delayed, are... <laughs> like, you know, the delays caused you problems there? Have you had to take in an investor? Are you just keeping that shoestring going along? So we had had to put in some more money from ourselves. Yeah. We haven't taken an investor at the moment. Um, I think we're not ready yet for an investor. We're quite happy the way things are going. And because Antra and myself um, get on really well, we understand each other and we complement each other. I think it's too too early to have um, someone else involved in the business. I think eventually, yes, we will need investors for sure, especially when we grow a lot more. Uh, again, like I said last time, um, our husbands have been amazing for the support that they're giving us. So that's cool. been another thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, we, we're not on budget for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the marketing is crazy. Um, we have had lots of technical issues because because we're manufacturing as well we didn't think we'd be manufacturing yeah the, nice. the whole the way that the technicalities work um a cost a lot more on on buying the software and learning it and i think both Anthra and me are slightly technically challenged <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, you're not we're, the only one believe me <laughs> So, oh so we are learning. Um, I think Ron, uh, Antra's son, and my son and daughter, they're kind of helping us along that journey as well. Oh, thank God. Thank God, <laughs> I know. But uh, we're, we're, we're getting there, definitely. Cool. Slowly but surely. Yeah. The tortoise and the hare. Yeah. I wonder if Sudeep is trying to help you uh, sort of program any big AI pr products and sort of, you know, Put he some special is robots to very, work. Very, <laughs> very enthusiastic about everything. So at times I have to tell him, okay, all right. Okay. Down, boy, down. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's very There's like lots of links all the time going, do this, do that. And we're yeah. like, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I feel for you. I can imagine. I can only imagine. Okay. So, so we've got hopeful March in April or launch in April. If you got the approvals, let's say in the next week, would you be able to launch in March? Or are you just going to say, we're not going to put ourselves under that pressure. We're just going to shoot for April. And I think we're ready to rumble actually. Okay. Yeah. You're just waiting on those approvals. Just, if yes. we get a certification, uh, the label sort of the artwork is ready, um, just needs to be printed. So I guess that would take about two weeks to get everything printed and ready. Yeah. And we would then be able to manufacture. Again, the website is ready, just waiting for the finished product. But, you know, we, we need the whole lot. Yeah. Uh, we're mm -hmm. doing work on the sidelines, like pictures and videos, so we can launch it quicker. Yeah. But uh, I think that's the only drawback at the moment we have. How are you, what's your plan for social media? How are you going to, do you have a budget for that? We're um, For ads and things like that, yeah. you know. So we have an a influencer, which we've uh, had for a while, who's waiting for us to give her the product. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. We also obviously are on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, yeah. TikTok. Um, anything else I've missed? Um, LinkedIn. 
LinkedIn. LinkedIn, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, the website. Um, I think we would also go on Etsy and on um, mm, Amazon. Amazon. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we've got those lined oh, up. Etsy is great, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Very good. So, yeah. We, we, you know, we've got all of that. But I think also you get the sort of, um, you know, the boosters that you get on Instagram, Facebook. I think we'd have to use that for social media. Right. But initially, I think it's going to be a slow start in the sense of, we don't know how much we can manufacture and how much we can yeah. sort of retail at the same time. Sure. Um, it's been really interesting. We've had a few calls from a lot of we uh, vegan societies and their websites. They want to sell our products as well. Mm. So we're in, we're, we've already had talks with them and they want to um, put our uh, products, products on their there. website. Yeah. yeah. I um, am going to make a connection to you for another place that um, they have a, they have a, uh, I guess sort of a platform for businesses like yours as well. Uh, I don't know which one it would go on, but they have something called Beyond Animal. Yes. And they, okay. Yeah. Did I tell Did I tell you about that already? Yes, we have connected I did. with them. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fine. Okay. Super. Cool. That's because that's a really Claire is absolutely super passionate about that. So that that's the right one right ecosystem for you to to be yeah. connected in. so i'm glad okay good i'm glad yeah, we about connected that. with them i think a while ago yeah good yeah. okay perfect fantastic so what beyond that then when we get together next time what do you guys what stage do you think you'll be at at that point let's say three, another <laughs> three months three four months down the road i, I think in about i think I, I'm being really hopeful and I, I'm praying it works, but fingers crossed, I think we should be able to launch at least by mid-April. Uh, mid yeah. And uh, I think by the time we talk to you next, we'll be telling you probably what we've sold and where we're selling the most and all the feedback that we've got from the customers. That'd um, be perfect. And, uh, yeah. And I think that that's where we really aim to be. Cool. Yeah, I think that will be, for me, I will be really interested to know which products are resonating, what the feedback is. Are you getting, did you get any big uh, potential supplier coming through because they, they they tried your product and really liked it? So that will be, that will be cool. And I hope, I hope for you guys that that's the case and that we can do some celebrating in episode three. Definitely. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Fantastic. Is there anything else you want to talk about or... Um, just to let everyone know important. that if they can follow uh, Body by Organic on Facebook and Instagram and just support and us LinkedIn and LinkedIn, um, because it's the small business is really, really hard and the startup is even more difficult. And we need all the support that we can get from everyone. Fantastic. You hear that, shop callers? Go out there and support Body by Organic. And uh, from my side, we are going to do a big relaunch on uh, International Women's Day, March 8th. And I'll keep you guys updated on that because we are going to have so somewhat of a name change and sort of uh, logo and kind of uh, uh, taglines and everything to help the people that we wanna help understand what we're doing better. And, and I think I mentioned that to you, it's been a branding marketing business planning exercise that I did with two women here in Switzerland. And um, one of them's from the UK actually, Brand Space is the name. And boy, that, that just helped me, they helped me so much put a vision together for what I really, what kind of business, what sort of action did I want my followers to take after they listen to a podcast or after they uh, read a blog, you know, how do I, give them an action to take. And uh, that's been really valuable for me. So I, I hope that uh, we can get support for you guys. And as you go on your journey, if, if there's anything that I can do on my side to help connect you, we'll keep, we'll keep doing that and uh, keep supporting you there. Good. You, You've been Thank really you. amazing to both of us. Yes. Uh, well, <laughs> I'd love to see women go out there and, and create something create jobs, create value, create products that many of us want to have. And, uh, you know, just generally be part of the economic engine because all the statistics show that when women are financially included in any economy, that economy thrives. Mm -hmm. And I think that you guys probably sit in a really interesting position having 
um, well, I'm sorry, you grew up in India, right? Yes, I did. Archana, you did not, is that right? I grew up in Kenya. Ke that's right, Kenya. So, which may be different beast, but some similarities there on the role Absolutely. women play, play into the economies. But you guys have specific insight into now being in a Western country, which, although it could do better, is way ahead on women's rights inequality than most of the rest of the planet. Yeah. And I'm sure that you would like to see those family members, friends, uh, compatriots in your in your countries also be able to to thrive. Sure. So Absolutely. I'm sure that that's that's a part of a part of you being successful is that you will bring up other other people that um, with you. Yeah, but, but yeah. Fantastic. Okay, ladies, then we will let you get back to work and keep formulating those magic recipes. And we can't wait to hear about the approval. So you let us know and we will, you know, do a little um, post on that when you get your approvals in. And then we will schedule a follow up sometime late spring, I suppose, early summer and, and hope to hear all that the success that you've been having. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. All right. Take care, ladies, and we'll see you.